Tonight, we're taking you to the east side of Jacksonville. It's an area neighbors say has been neglected for years, but it could soon be getting millions in funding as part of the Jaguar Stadium deal. Andrew Badillo is on your side tonight. Andrew, I know you had a chance to speak with some neighbors today. What are they telling you? Heather, neighbors I spoke with say they're desperate for help this Thursday. City Council will vote on an amendment that would potentially carve out $96 million of city money from the stadium deal and be voted on separately. That money would include improving the east side. And neighbors just don't want the project rushed down the road and forgotten. Tucked back on Jacksonville's east side is Van Buren Street. In this home, a fan is working overtime. This is the way we get cool. In Gregory Lawson's home, there is no relief. Come down below with the devil burning. <laughs> it's really hot. Lawson is disabled, has hypertension and diabetes is on a fixed income. I have did a lot of repairs, but I can't do them all. Not on what they give me. Lawson inherited the home from his mother and needs help restoring it. He has plywood for floors, appliances caked in rust, holes in the ceiling. He spends most of his days in this chair. I cook here. It's a hot plate. I have to cook here because everything in the house was very old. Lawson needs help. Help, he says, is long overdue. I've been promised things, that, you know, it hasn't surfaced. Lawson hopes he will soon be getting help and be included in future improvements as part of the Jaguar Stadium deal. He knows he has at least one person on his side. I'm out here. I can feel their pain. I've been there. I know what poverty is. Talisa Robinson grew up on the east side next door to Lawson. This city was very, very vibrant. Robinson says the vibrance is gone. She wants the ugly to shine bright in the eyes of the Jaguars and city. We need y'all to come back in here and look inside our hearts and our, and our homes. I love and appreciate her. She's doing the right thing and I love her. On Van Buren Street, armed with a fan and ice, Lawson says 94 million could bring long awaited relief. My house is in a shambles, the whole block is in a shamble, and we would really appreciate them to come and fix our home. Now the vote on the amendment to carve out the $94 million from the community benefit agreement is Thursday at 9 a.m. Talisa Robinson has been working to establish relationships with the city to help her neighbors and her own business, East Coast Striping and Painting. She says she's working to get her business going so she can start working on homes like Lawson's. Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.